Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Direct 7-inch Page Punchers Superman. This is based on his appearance in the exclusive Black Adam comic book, clearly inspired by some throwback retro classic designs. Take a look at him in the box here. My box has some like glue or something right there covering the face a little bit. The box has kind of got beat up on the way here, but they're very sharp photo of the figure and the comic on the back. I gotta say, they managed to get the credits for the comic creators on here. It'd be nice if they got the credits for the sculptors, painters, uh, designers that made this sharp looking box, etc. Here's that if you need it. I got this off Amazon. They're shipping now. Let's get them out of here. So he does feel pretty loaded up in the box here. He's got this comic, of course, and if you take the comic out of the box, there's a very sharp background, so if you wanted to display it in the box, minus the comic, that would look great. The comic is the same one that comes with every figure from this wave, this little story called Heart of Decay. I haven't read it yet, but I do believe it's a one-off because at the very end it does say the end. And Tons of ads for other DC titles in here. This is great, getting comics in people's hands. Speaking of comics in people's hands, we just reached 100% funding for my comic book Kickstarter. Thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting and sharing. This is a really exciting success story. It bodes very, very well for the future of not just more comics, but just this channel in general and the continued growth. Now the figure also comes with the card. The cards are kind of whack. It's just the same thing on every, on the front of every card with a different name, different bio on the back, a little whack. And he comes with a flight stand, which is great. This is the same as the multiverse flight stand. So Todd has been talking about the possibility of putting out figures like a George Reeves Superman. And I, I realize this isn't exactly that, but it does very much feel very vintagey. And I, I gotta admit, I, you know, I, I look at details like this sometimes and I'm like, I'm not even, Sure, my historian brain craps out and I can't even really tell you if it's Golden Age, Silver Age. Clearly a throwback clear to a to a less Technicolor era. You know, you look at them next to this Wave 1 soups and you see those desaturated colors. Slightly more modest and less modern details. And it just, it looks great, guys. The, the head was the one sort of question mark that I had just based on the promo photos and even getting in the box, I thought it felt a little too youthful, a little too uh, cherubic, but actually seeing it here in hand, out of the box, looks pretty hard. I don't know if I like it more than that Wave 1 look, but I can't deny that it looks really great. Excellent hair, uh, pretty quality printed paint on the face, although I got a couple little, little specks there. Notice the cape here where it, where it tucks into his suit. Uh, there's a bit of a gap, and I've noticed this on almost every single photo that people have posted of theirs, so it looks like this is kind of happening to every single one. It'd be nice if we can get that pushed up tighter somehow. Might take a little work, but it'd be worth doing because it's right here where you notice it. Arms get up to a T. Lots of space carved out here with this... Um, Sort of butterfly rotator cuff, and his head looks up fairly well too, so I think flying is going to be achievable. Bicep cuts, great looking muscles and hints of fabric wrinkles here. Double elbows close up really tight, they don't look particularly great like that, like that floaty triangle there always drives me a little nuts. The hands are yet again way way too big. They keep giving us these gigantic infected Superman hands and it's just the wrong scale and I'm, not, I'm saying that as somebody who's not a big snob about proportions. I'm okay with taking some artistic liberties, making the characters taller, more lean, etc. But man these, these hands are just not a match. He does have sculpted ball joint wrists, but frankly they need to be painted, I think. And I think the sculpt is meant to look like more fra more fabric, which kind of doesn't make any sense because that 
feels like the end of his sleeve. So I feel like these should be skin tone, pretty good movement in the waist, torso, diaphragm area. A little bit of forward crunch, not a ton. But I mean, that's pretty, pretty great there. Trunks here are a little snug. He can get out very well forward and back are a little tight. And I'm hesitant to stretch that out a ton. I hate to see that kind of start to stress out, lose the red color, you know what I mean? Very beefy legs, but they've got a double knee. He won't kick his own butt. Sculpted ball joint angles look really excellent, work really excellent. Love these boots. A lot of cool details in those boots. Toes, of course, detail on the bottom of the feet even. Pretty cool looking cape here. It doesn't take up a ton of real estate. It's not super wide like some of the ones we've seen, Ultraman, etc. And it doesn't even feel very show-offy, but it's just very classy looking, this complete wrap around is amazing. They're able to create these with this soft material. I gotta admit, it looks much, much cooler from the back though. From the front, it doesn't feel like you're looking at it too much. It doesn't quite show off the incredible sense of dimension that it has with the way this wraps around. Now, if you haven't seen these flight stands in the DC Multiverse, they come as two pieces. That slides into there like so. Pop him up there like that. And he also has two open hands. And of course these are too big. Let's put them on here. Too big. Comically big. Yikes. They gotta fix this. They gotta start giving us the right size hand. It's always like the one thing that is wrong that the superman figures always tend to be really good but except the hands are wrong it just screws it all up i really like this i'm going to be torn choosing which which one to main here I, I do love the bright saturated colors and the shiny shield here on the uh, wave one soups but this with the, the desaturated look the the vintagey details it feels really classy, guys. It just feels very sharp. The hands, the size of the hands, that really feels like the only significant gripe I've got here. Take a look at them here with some other Supermen. I think they just really love Superman over there, McFarlane. Every time they do one, it turns out really great. Throw in some other supporting characters from Clark's roster here, and there's definitely quite a disconnect. These both feel very modern, and this is clearly a throwback. So that might affect whether or not you want to main this dude or hold out for more kind of retro style figures. And then same thing here. He's not a huge sore thumb or anything, but I just don't think he holds up next to the sort of modernity of all these other figures. So if you're thinking maybe like, well, I missed out on that wave one soups. I mean, this could be my main. I mean, just be, be mindful of that. There's some stylistic disconnects in the... Justice League team members that they've given us so far. And wow, doesn't it seem like there's a character missing from this lineup? That's right, I'm talking about Cyborg. While we've got these figures here, I'll remind you that frequent commenters and participants on this channel are inducted into the From Before Figs rogues gallery. Today's entry is our good friend, Evicted Convict, who has been turning out lately the live streams and the game streams in the comments, keeping the conversation going, Great, insightful comments and commentary. Let's hear it for Evicted Convict. That's going to be 7-inch Page Punchers Superman. He's kind of the odd man out of the wave, being the only one that feels really significantly retro, vintage inspired. I absolutely love it, and I hope we see more characters in this sort of style. Like I said before, it doesn't quite have the Technicolor pop, but it's got its own kind of charm. I, I really, really like it. 
feels like he stepped out of an old worn out film strip it's a great great look very cool figure I'm liking these page punchers so far they're also kind of just indistinguishable from a regular multiverse release i don't know what the distinction there is if there's meant to be one but i look forward to seeing what todd has in store for the dc direct line in the future until next time folks keep fighting for truth justice and the american way and i will see you all next time thanks for watching bye